In our changing world, food production sits at the crossroads of environmental sustainability and the need for a safe and healthy food supply to meet a rapidly growing global population. As conditions shift and modern society adapts, the way in which we produce, process, and consume our food must evolve as well. Our researchers at The Ohio State University College of Food, Agricultural, and Environmental Sciences are meeting those challenges head on, and their work is critical now more than ever. Researchers like Sammy Kanal, who uses AI technology to assess crop health and increase yields while lessening environmental impact. Agricultural systems are very complex with several interdependent variables like weather patterns, soil conditions, crop types, and management practices. AI models, especially machine learning algorithms, are very good at tackling big data that are really complex in a manner that the traditional statistical methods could not. We want to help farmers in three key ways. We want them to make informed decisions on optimized use of resources leading to waste and increasing sustainability. We want them to be better prepared for the upcoming risk and plan accordingly to mitigate those risks. And we also want them to plan their finances accordingly. So we are leveraging these AI-based models to untangle these complex interrelationships to improve the predictability of crop yield. Scott Kenny and colleagues at our Worcester campus focus on emerging infectious diseases and their impact on food system security. One of the, the large problems we're having with food production is that there's an ever-increasing need for food. And as a result, we have um, these uh, corporation farms where they're having, you know, two, three, four hundred thousand even animals uh, in one production facility. If you do have an introduction of disease, it's no longer spread out. And so those animals all come down with the disease. If you lose one of those facilities, um, you could potentially be facing food shortages. And so our research helps to prevent the introduction of those diseases and to make those animals resistant to those diseases so that if there is an introduction, we don't have gaps in the food supply. Kara Lawson studies the impact of consumer opinion on food production, as well as public perception of climate change and climate risk. So when it comes to rural society and food production, the mediascape and general atmosphere and environment around those issues is ripe with a variety of different perceptions and perspectives. But for so many issues, they are issues because there is no clear answer. Some of the things that I'm looking at right now are perceptions of climate change, specifically climate risk, and how much they feel that that will impact their everyday life. What one person thinks about an issue and the way to solve it um, may totally differ from another person's perspective, but that doesn't mean either is wrong. It just means that we need to have more conversations. There needs to be more dialogue about how to address these issues so that the best ideas hopefully can kind of rise to the top and we can move forward toward resolving those. As we look to the future of agriculture, finding new ways to grow food is essential. In our Controlled Environment Agriculture Research Complex, Cherry Kubota studies strawberry production for ultimate flavor, as well as finding new ways to make indoor vertical farming more profitable for industry partners. Traditional open field-based production concentrated in locations like California or Florida, using acres and acres field to produce and distribute many, many miles. Controlled environment agriculture can be distributed closer to the cities and consumers because we can modify the climate so that um, it doesn't have to be California, but we can create California climate inside the greenhouse, inside the vertical farm. By moving the locations close to the consumption site or consumers, now you can focus more on flavor and quality rather than how well they can be shipped. So that would enhance the nutritional value, that would enhance the uh, taste, freshness, and so making consumers happier. Space is the ultimate controlled environment. Scott Shear and his colleagues at Star Lab research better ways to grow crops that will ultimately help producers here on Earth. The reason why we're talking about Star Lab at Ohio State University, we look at the research portfolio in the College of Food, Agriculture, and Environmental Sciences, one of the things that the college is, is invested heavily in is control environment agriculture. 
There's a lot of parallels, and, and we begin thinking about how we're going to sustain human life in space. And one of the biggest concerns is obviously a stable food supply. One of the, the major focal points, if you will, of sustaining life in space is going to be bioregenerative systems. We're seeing a lot of similarities in terms of what we're thinking about here on Earth with nutrient cycling, thinking about the quality of the environment, and thinking about a low carbon economy coming up. A lot of elements are very common in terms of what's going to happen in, in space. As I look to the future, those are some of the areas where I think CFAES has tremendous opportunity to contribute and be major players as uh, we, we think about low Earth orbit and then going beyond. Now, more than ever, it's critical we address the challenges of modern food production and environmental sustainability to feed a growing population. However, this is only a fraction of the research in the College of Food, Agricultural, and Environmental Sciences. Across the college, in every department, we're proud of our researchers who stand at the forefront of innovation dedicated to finding solutions for big challenges, all in support of our unifying purpose. We sustain life.